Yep, there we go. Dawn of War, Chaos Rising. Dawn of War 2, Chaos Rising. Oh, yeah, this is... For those of you who don't know, that's a Chaos Boy? That is a big Chaos Boy, and actually. And he's, uh, he's making his way on up in the world. He's rising. He's, one yes, could say. One could say. Like, like really aggressive dough. Oh, no. And the sun fucked off. You know, springtime in Britain, you know? Basically, yeah. You can't trust the weather. One day it's bright sunshine, and the next day, warp storms. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos. Hey, Gabby. No, you're not. You look like a person. <laughs> <laughs> look, what have they done to you, Gabby? Look, between this and Dawn of War 3, they pumped a shit ton of roids in this boy. Into his forehead. Oh, yeah. Well, that's where, that's where roids go, isn't it? No. Straight to the brain. I like how if you just keep shooting it, it just keeps emitting guards. <laughs> there we go, there's another one. There he goes. Okay, I'm all hidden over here. Let's just throw a detonator at them and see what they do. They're like, ah, shit. Oh, they didn't seem to notice. Everything's so. coming up explodey. Whee! Oh, I need me one of those, they're amazing. We're well, not allowed to jump back. Why not? It would be wholly irresponsible. Mm, I don't think I would, I just got a subway and back. Yes, and probably tread on people along the way. That is why you want to have I wouldn't. I'm very polite. I would wait my wait my place in line. What would the Codex say about that? The Codex would say some dumb bullshit that no one wants to pay attention to. It's basically like Rimmer from Red Dwarf. <laughs> this is like subsection 46 of part 7 of the, of the Codex of Stardis. But doesn't that mean that no superior officer should wear a wig? I don't really see how that's relevant to this situation. That's literally what they're doing. Oh no! Habitus, stop standing still and talking! It's like, I'm sorry, I can't walk and talk. <laughs> Run away as fast as your bad pathing will allow. <laughs> Death to the... Okay. That box was the enemy, apparently. Well, yeah, it was it was standing between you and combat supplies. That's true, that's true. I like how they make a big deal about, like, oh, yeah, being co like, what would the Codex say about this? And then this tactical squad is in a group of four. It's with, fine. With two special weapons. That's uh, not... That's completely Codex compliant. That is not... What are you talking about? That is not Codex compliant. That's the definition of Codex compliant. Will you stop attacking me for, like, five goddamn minutes? They shall not... See? Wasn't that, isn't that better? Now, everyone can relax. Everyone's fine. Land on the fucks. I <laughs> and then he eats <laughs> shit immediately. Look, come on. Landing from one of those things is probably hard. I don't know. You won't let me get a fucking jump pack, so... Because um, they exist in real life, don't you know? They do. They do. Absolutely. <laughs> it's fine. It'll buff out. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why is there a bolter down there? Why is it? Matter, a, you got it. Why you is got it the Herald of War? Why is it the Herald of War? What, what is happening? I don't know, it just makes sense to me. You know, fair play to these uh, these traitor guardsmen. They are running up behind a bunch of space marines and just thinking, yeah, I can, I can take yeah, them. Yeah, I can, I can fucking have a go at that. Yeah, yeah. I can go take a Devastator on in close quarters combat. Why the fuck not? He's not just going to tread on my face. No, it's fine. <laughs> He's not going to punch me so hard my bones fly out of my fucking body. <laughs> He's going to punch me directly in my soul. He's going to I didn't... punch out all of my blood. <laughs> so I didn't believe in souls before now, but I just got it punched out, so I guess I do now. <laughs> if you can identify a target, Cyrus, you have time to shoot at one. Yeah, but, you know. What? Codex, what have you, you know. You just don't understand Astartes warfare, you know. Do I not? No, no. And that's, that's the reason for this problem. Is it? Yep. Is that the reason? That's the reason. I guess I should feel silly. Now let's shoot this building until it dies from it. That's a really good plan. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, really? Really? Guys, just leave off it, all right? Seriously, just lie down on the floor. <laughs> just lie down on the floor and just wait for the end to come, because that's all that's going to happen. You know it, I know it. If a space marine ate a bunch of sweets, would they get really bad cavities? I don't know. Would, they, would it do anything negative to them because they're so like and, like resistant to poison and they're basically super witches? You know, it probably wouldn't do much to them. Because, I mean, yeah, like, they can just drink poison and be fine with it. So... But would that fuck with their teeth and their enamel? I mean, their bones... What I'm asking is, like, does Garvey or Loken have sensitive teeth? 
I don't think he does. Mm. I don't think you he don't, does. You can't say that for sure. I can't say for sure. I'm mm. going to go harass some, like a, an author on Twitter. <laughs> just make sure. That's the You see, that's the best thing about Twitter, is that you can... You can annoy anyone at any time. You can get celebrities, brands, you can get them all, like, just in on your bullshit and... And really, that's that's what you know. Life is all about. <laughs> all right, mate. So I tried shooting them 50 times with the las gun, but the 51st shot is totally going to work. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. Oh heck off! So this is the thing. Like, I, this is a good representation of being a space marine because you're not actually like feeling threatened by the Imperial Guards. You are inconvenienced by them. Yeah. I wonder how long I can just hide in these bunkers and not actually have to do anything. Because I'm quite on the side of not having to do things. Now you're looking at war from a rich person's point of view. <laughs> well... Your heavy bolter impersonation has been coming along over the years. Has to be said. Thank you, I've been practicing. Oh no, Cyrus has fallen over. Oh no! He's like stubbed his toe or something because it can't have been the guardsman that killed him. I've fallen and I can't get up! See, it's around this point that I remember that as much as I like him, I'm not actually very good at strategy games. I'm exactly the same, but way worse. I like how they get, look like they go, yeah. Yeah, I do kind of feel that it needs to have some like googly eyes placed on it. <laughs> Review the signal on your planetary display and provide whatever support you can. Bring me Thor. He is cool. Bring me Thor. There's Thor. I know Hello. You, I know you like Thor. Oh, he's a lovely boy. He's my favorite lovely boy. He's a good boy. Oh, oh he do shooty bangs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love. Oh. I love how that assault cannon is just a screaming mouth. Ah. Just, ah. <laughs> Let's go deal with the Eldar and then it'll give me a lightning claw. That seems oh. like a good deal to me. That's a good deal. <gasps> oh, look at my speedy boy! <laughs> you do like Thule, don't you? Oh, I love Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts are amazing. Look at your model of boot! Oh, you go, sweetie! Oh, I'm so proud of my boy! I love Dreadnoughts' little waddle. It is adorable. I just love it. Because, like, you know, they looked at the Dreadnought model and went, how the fuck can you make this move? Yeah, they've, they've never really managed to make them walk, like, dignified, but it's mm -hmm. fine. Endymion? Yeah? You mean, like, Mamoru Chiba from Sailor Moon's fucking ultimate form. I don't think that's what they mean, no. That's literally it. But that's... This is in canon with Sailor Moon. There you go, Thor. He's doing really well, I'm Go do, it. Go do what the Emperor intended and fuck shit up. I'm pretty sure that's none of this is what the Emperor intended. Hope he's that good in game. He won't be he that won't good be in, game. in game. I am at your disposal, Commander. No, I want uh, the Dreadnought! I'm just gonna say, in terms of coolness value, I don't consider a Librarian a fair trade for a Dreadnought. Cause look how cool he is! I mean, some people might disagree with that assessment, but... Most people were welcome to be wrong, if that's what they choose to be. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. They wish to choose to be that wrong in life. Oh, dang. Oh, cool! I got a front for Thul. <laughs> nice. Got him in our shirt, you know? Oh, I'm glad. He deserves a nice shirt. He does. He's, He's a good. very good boy. Come on, one more. There we go. The lightning needs to strike and a marine shall appear. For that oh. is where marines come from. Is it? Yes. I thought they were just normal peoples and then got made into not so normal peoples. No, no, they are. Uh, lightning strikes. The lightning stalk <laughs> appears. The lightning stalk! Everyone loves the lightning stalk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I think Cheekbones got shot by a fucking prism cannon and it leveled him up. Well, so I don't know, what doesn't kill you levels you up, I suppose. Evidently so. This this looks like this might be some kind that's of ambush. That's a fantastic spot for an ambush. But I, I trust the Eldar. They're honourable. You trust the Eldar? They they wouldn't ambush me, would they? They wouldn't ambush you? Oh, good, 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 good. Destroy the humans! Like, Tarkus is the kind of guy to go, Well, actually, we're not technically human. The appropriate classification is post-human. Yeah. I'll have you know. <laughs> He is that kind, He's isn't that he? He's that kind of he, fucker. Yes, I'm aware. Snipers. What's wrong with them? I'm used to dealing with them. You live with one. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, guys. Calm it down. I don't wanna. Don't want any of your fucking guff. Don't want none of your malarkey over here. I'm well, definitely not malarkey. No, definitely not. I can not. deal with a small amount of guff, but no malarkey whatsoever. The Eldar are known for their malarkey. It says so in that one codex I read. Yeah. It's completely legit, and I didn't just make up.